What is going on, everybody? Savage Song 146 here, and today we are back at it on the Warframe. Now, today we are going to wait for it, wait for it. Now, I'm just playing. Today, we're going to be learning about Kuva, aka Kuva Liches, is what I meant to say. So, you're probably wondering, Salk, what the f I mean, what the heck is a Kuva Lich? Well, they drop bad, I mean, cool weapons like this right here. The Kuva Brahma, one of my favorite weapons so far in the game. <laughs> it is a, it is a masterpiece, and I'm going to show you how to get it. And how to get other cool weapons that could lead to mass server crashes and laggy games. So anyway, what you want to do is, well, it doesn't really matter who you have as a Warframe, but if you see, my character it has like an electric effect. That's because, well, let's put it, I, oh, well, you know what, I'll get to that later. Okay, so, first you're probably wondering, what the hell is Kuvalich? And here it is. These are all the Kuvaliches I had in the past. The one that I got the bow from, the Kuva Brahma, is from this guy right here. Word of advice. When you kill yep, that's, someone, make sure it <sighs> that's my Kuvalich. Now, his stat was 41%. I'm not sure. That is a very good. Uh, the higher the number, the better the weapon. I think are the better the stats so yeah um so I'm gonna show you how to get it so first things first hit the menu go to the menu okay once you do that head here and go to solo now why solo because when you go on solo it might I think it only works in solo you could get you can spawn in a cool village then you're gonna head to Saturn right here Saturn um it, it doesn't have to be Saturn, but I picked Saturn because it's like in the middle between levels. And I, let me just give you all a warning. If you have Nidus, be careful because I had a Kuva Lich. Let's see, who, where is she? Where is she? Here she is. I think this is her. I could be wrong. Yep. Your crime has you guys, everybody, adversary. guys and gals, guys and girls, why did I say it like that? Be careful, okay? Because using Nidus to create a, uh, a Kuva Lich, it's quite devastating. This Sizzlock was a pain in my butt. Like, I am saying right now, like, it was so difficult trying to defeat her. And just... Uh, it was a pain. So just be careful with what Warframe you use. Alright, so we're gonna head to Saturn here. Uh, sorry about that. My controller disconnected. So now we're gonna be heading here. And to Saturn. And you wanna go to Telesto. Exterminate. Why exterminate? Because it's faster and easier than the other ones. Trust me. Exterminate missions are way faster, way better, way quicker. Now, Kuvliches can spawn only in high level, well, I think, I'm not positive, in high level um, planets. So, Saturn, uh, Europa, Sedna, yeah, Sedna, I think, uh, Uranus, haha, uh -huh, very funny, get it out of here. Yep, just slap it off. Uh, Neptune, and I think that's it. I could be wrong. I don't really know the exact location. Saturn is just my go-to place. And the one with Nidus that I had, I went to that high-level area in uh, uh, Sedna, I think. No, Europa, my mistake. No, yeah, it was Sedna. On Sedna, I created that uh, Shiz Locks. With Nidus, and it was brutal. It was really brutal. Oh, fuck. I forgot. Hold on. Me. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, here it is. Sorry about that, everybody. Okay. Now we continue. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. 
we go boom. We go boom. Okay. So now, you just do what you do best, Tenno. You kill. You slash and you hack. Rip and tear, you know? Rip and tear. Play some heavy metal. I mean, not heavy metal. Play some motherfucking doom music. Well, that's pretty much But anyway. Well, you know what? Never mind. That, okay. So, once you start killing these guys, they should eventually spawn. You will get a little flicker on your screen. No, it is not the stalker. Well, it might be, depending on how you look at it and depending on how many uh, assassination targets you killed. But, uh, as long as you don't have a low level Warframe, and as long as, well, that's an understatement. As long as you don't have a low level Warframe, like, let's say you work, oh, there's the flicker. Like, if your Warframe is at level uh, 20, or you have low weapons that are low level, then he will spawn in. So make sure you go in with high level weapons, or maxed weapons and Warframe, so the stalker doesn't spawn. So as you saw right there, back there that was the flicker I was talking about what the f what the fuck oh man hey 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 buddy phantom stop it bro no stop okay anyway so now we continue going through the path here taking out one by one of the enemies there is the message showing that there's a Kuvalish. Now, right there, you see that that extra symbol? That right there, where my crosshair is at, where I'm aiming at, right there, that is the Kuvalich. Or not the Kuva, the Kuva, what are they called? The Kuva larvae? Larvae? I don't know. But there's that little bastard right there, so I'm gonna shoot him. Let me get rid of all these enemies. Oh my god, the teleporting motherfucker. I hate him so fucking much. Ah, come on. Okay, so here he is, and he, oh my god, come the fuck on, bro. Okay, sorry. Anyway, this is him. As you can see, do not hit the X button right away. Check above his name, or above the thing, and if it isn't the bow, or if it isn't the weapon that you're looking for, then don't do anything. Just let him die. And then once you do that, once he dies. Just go ahead and well, no really matter. You could just well, hold on. Well, I hmm. Anyway, just don't hit X right away. Make sure you check the weapon that they have. If it's the weapon that you will want, then hit X on it. So if it isn't them, don't hit X. Let them die. And then what you can do? What am I doing? Okay, abort mission. That's all you gotta do. Support mission. Rinse and repeat. That's all you got to do. Just keep on doing that and you're set. You will have what you want. Um Yeah. So you want to make sure you check. There is a timer. I don't know exactly how long they stay in a down state, so make sure you clear the area around you. That way enemies are not shooting at you while you Welcome check. Back, operator. Oh, let me get it. Come on. Okay, there we go. Fucking hate how, how you have to do that. Alright. So, now, rinse and repeat. We go back. Actually, let me show you guys and girls my Kuva Brahma setup that I got here. That makes it go to 25,000 damage and 7,000 corrosive damage and 2,000 blast damage. So, it's actually quite easy. So, in my opinion, use a electrical Warframe. Apparently, XCAL counts as electric. Alright, so these are the mods you're gonna need to make this bad boy into a bloody, 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 bloody motherfucking beautiful weapon of destruction. So, all these will count towards making that beautiful thing amazing. So heavy caliber, vigilant armaments. Vigilant armaments you get from Cetus, Split Chamber, Point Strike, Vital Sense, Stormbringer, Infected Clip, etc. etc. And I mean not etc. Uh, separation. Serration. Serration. I'm sorry. Um so yeah. 
So vigilant armaments, vigilant supplies. These are all what you need right here on the screen. This vigilant armaments. I know I'm repeating myself. I'm sorry. And vigilant armaments is for extra like arrows to you know more explosions like a cluster grenade basically vigilant supplies you're gonna need because this bow it's like a mortar and a sniper had sex like had an orgy and this is what came out the kuva brahma so yeah it it's weird okay it shoots a motor it isn't quiet not at all not a not by a long shot so yeah and apparently it takes in sniper ammo. There is only 15 shots. So that's why you're going to be needing vision supply supplies. Vision armaments is something you're going to need as well. Vision armaments and vi vigilant supplies. Are you? My God, that's gibberish. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Anyway, you're going to be needing those. I mean, I keep saying that you're going to be. You, you'll be able to get those and see this. So, as you can see here, Vengeful Flame and Vengeful Charge, Ephemera, 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 yeah, Ephemera. These you get from Kuva Liches, depending on the element that you have on your Warframe or the element that you use against them. So, apparently, I got this right here, Elemental Charge, with Excalibur. Elemental Flame, I got that from using Chroma. You can use either Chroma or Ember. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Well, pretty much does matter. And as you can see here, this build, by the way, is a f mm, five forma. Well, it's four forma now because I, I was lazy and I forgot to keep on going because you're going to be needing a lot to make this thing powerful so okay give me a second here while i fix this level 40 is the max rank for the kuwa brahma so you're going to be needing possibly five forma to do this thing so whip out those fissures and get to it lads so let me quickly fix this and then we'll go hunt our lich I'll show you even more. And now there will be silence for a little bit. I need to drink water because my throat hurts. I don't have COVID-19. Okay. And also, if you didn't notice, my Kubro also has the ephemera. That's because they added that. I never knew that. That is fucking awesome. Like, that is cool. You could put either of these on your Kubro. And you could put it on your operator too. I would show it, but I don't want to make this video too long than it already is. So, you could also put it on your Sentinels here, which is pretty fucking cool. So, yeah. It's pretty dope. I like the, the charge one because I, I love lightning. Lightning is my favorite element. Like, it really is, you know? I love the... The red and orange. Uh, I'm sorry. That's why my character here is red and orange. And if you've seen my Zato Excalibur review, then you'll see that I picked those colors. But that's just me. I like red and black. Red is my favorite color. It doesn't really matter. You guys could, you girls, and you know what? I'm just gonna call you you savages. All right? No, no, no. That's an insult. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. I need to come up with a name for, for everyone. That way, I, you would know what I'm talking about. Uh, soggy boys. Yes. No, no. No. Soggy waffles? Mm, no, that's worse. Okay. Rinse and repeat. You know the drill. Slash and hack. Rip away. Until you get that little flicker again. And the little message saying that there's a Kuva here. So, while it does that, I need to think on a way to pronounce everyone hmm see i don't want to say savage because that's kind of an insult um hmm hmm
know what? As cringy and weird as it's going to sound, I'm just going to call everyone a Tenno. Because there's no actual gender thing about it. So, oh, right, I forgot to mention. I really hope I didn't say it. I mean, I didn't mean that. Anyway, by the way, be careful with the Kuva Brahma because it does have knockback and that shit is annoying. Now, I have a little tip for everyone. As you see there, it is very annoying, especially when enemies are up close. So be careful. Um, there is a way to counteract this knockback, but it's so far um, only Wukong and Rhino have this. I'm not sure about everybody else because I don't have that many frames. I am a broke motherfucker. You know, we pour out here, you know. Anyway, um, so you got to be careful with it. Now, back in the old patch, when this first came out, this the first coup, when the when the coup drama first came out, using this, like when self damage was a thing, you would die instantly. Like, don't matter. Like, you would die instantly. Now, Rhino Prime or Rhino in general, his iron skin prevents him from being knocked down with this Kuva Brahma, and it is amazing. I wonder why I'm not using him now is because I don't have that great build for him. Okay, so here's our Kuva. And perfect. That's the weapon I wanted. So if it's the weapon you want, go up to it and hit X. There you go. It'll do this weird little animation. Looks like it's taking a shit. There's no toilet paper. I don't know how they cleaned it ass. It's ass. But anyway, my Tenno brethren, we... I've got our lich, and we'll be right back after these messages. Not really. All right, we're back. Okay, so now, as you see, ooh, spooky, red fucking screen. Jetu Avec, my Kuva lich, has spawned. Rises, yes. I have been bisected, dissected, autopsied, upgraded. I completely missed that. Anyway, here's your Kuvalich. So, if you go to your menu here, you see that something has been added. This symbol right here is for your Kuvalich. This shows the profile of your Kuvalich, the stats, and whatnot. If you see that number right above the name, that's how many times it's evolved. Now, mine's is a level one because I just got it. Um, ah, yes. As you can see, the ephemera it has is the same one that I have. So if you want that same ephemera, use Excalibur Umbra. Uh, I don't really know the success rate of having it. Also, one thing you need to keep note of is the weapon bonus because that will actually come in clutch or will, you know, Will make your weapon your kuva weapon even stronger depending on what mods you put on it so thankfully i got the kuva nurker Nur oh that does not sound right the kuva nuke i'm just gonna call it the kuva nuke so the kuva nuke i won this for a while and actually looks badass i ain't gonna front so yeah and depending on your warframe they will decapitate your head basically and Put it on his shoulder as a prize, I guess. I don't know. Uh, okay. Operator, now, I'm going to show you where your Kuva spawns. So, we got it here in Saturn. It doesn't. It didn't spawn in Saturn. How do I know? And how I know it didn't spawn anywhere else except for Phobos? Well, that's because it's pretty simple. Little symbol right there. The Kuva symbol. Now, it spawns in random, so if you didn't finish your star chart, if you're a new player to this game and you didn't finish your star chart, you might want to start doing that. Uh, post up LFGs, or if not, ask a friend to help you out that has played Warframe and that's a higher rank than you or whatnot. So, yeah, finish your star chart. That way, when you go for a Kuvalich, you will be able to go to that planet that he or she is on. So now we can go back on public because now, well, now I, it doesn't really matter because what we're going after now is the minions for the Kuvalich. And as you can see, 
the name right there my kuva's name that's the thing you're looking for look for the your kuva's name and the objective of it and click on it and then it'll put you in a match so now we wait i would uh cut this out but i'm i'm just too tired <laughs> oh man okay Get this. Come on. What am I doing? There we go. Hit the wrong button. So as you heard right there, that little noise or song, that means there's a Kuva minion nearby. So my minion is over here. There he is. Okay, let me clear this room area real quick. Okay, so here he is. So it's going to be like that once you knock him down or once you shoot him up. Then you go up to it, hit X. That's a cool little animation that sometimes works and sometimes doesn't work. And there you go, Requiem Murmur. That's what we're gonna be needing to solving our Kuva's uh, our Kuva's uh, weakness. So now that I showed you that, they they do spawn more. Like they, it's not like one minion. Uh, one minion doesn't only spawn more spawn in as you go through the objective depending on what objective you're doing so yeah more spawns in more of the minions spawn in I'm sorry my, my grammar is off the charts today okay so now I'm going to show you what you need to know how to take down your motherfucking Kuva Lich this right here is what you'll be needing I'm going to be naming those Relics. So, these relics you can get fairly pretty easy, depending on your RNG, of course. <laughs> so, this is where you can get the relics for your Requiem. I'm just gonna call it them. I'm just gonna call it that Requiem. So, once you get those, and once you actually get your Requiem, you're gonna head to the Fishers, and it should say Requiem Fisher. So. Then, you want to go here. So we're going to go here. I'm going to show you exactly what you'll be needing. So, these are the relics that you'll be needing. Now, as you see, mine has like a 1 in the bottom of it. That means it has 1 charge left. So, because these this, this setup right here was used for my last lich. So... You guys got to be careful. You got to make sure you keep an eye on that. There are only three charges. As soon as those three disappear, you will get a defiled requiem or relic. So, yeah. So, you need to get the requiem murmurs to unlock the weakness or the relic that you need. And as soon as you see that that relic name. You gotta farm for it. So, right there, right here. And it is a puzzle, by the way. <clears throat> so, basically, what you wanna do is you don't wanna finish all the missions on here right away. Your Kuvalich will spawn in random time and won't just sit on its ass all day eating fucking popcorn. So, you gotta make sure you cap that mofo. Now, you're not gonna kill it right away, but you will wound it. To the point where they will run away and that will make them evolve making them stronger and making them conquer even more pl planets that's where you need to complete your star chart that's why i said that in the beginning or well, not in the beginning but halfway of this video so make sure you get that star chart completed so make sure you do not kill or not kill do not complete every single thing of the planet until you reach, uh, you know, until your Kuvalich evolved even more. Now, the max evol 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 evolution of your Kuvalich is 5. So, as soon as you hit that 5, then you should be set. You don't need to worry. Now, comes the more frustrating part. As soon as you unlocked every single Requiem Murmur, or every single, uh, every single weakness... To your kuva and once you have those relics that you need for that kuva it's going to be a puzzle game this is where it's going to get very 
very fucking annoying. So now, now you have to basically do a puzzle game. You gotta put, like, let's say, Netra in the big, in the first slot. You gotta put that there in order to. Oh, by the way, this what's going on in the background? That's that's. I don't know what I'm doing. So anyway, up here. Whatever is up there, or whatever is down there. What am I doing? Goodness gracious. So, whatever's down here. We're up here, my mistake. So, it's puzzles, basically. Netra. If Netra doesn't work, then you move it to the second slot. And whatever's in the second slot that you have, you put in the first slot. Whatever's in the first slot. No. Wait. I think I just confused myself. <laughs> okay, so basically, it's it's just when you get your relics and when you hunt your Kuvalich, if it has an X on it once you hurt it, then you have to change it. So if it doesn't, if it didn't work, put it in the second slot. And whatever's in your second slot, put it in the first slot. If the f second slot to the first slot didn't work. Then put that first one that was in the second one to the third one. And then if the third one worked for the first one, then there you go. And I think you can get the gist of it. If not, uh, I got, I'm going to link my Twitter down below. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's boy Savage Saw 146. I will see all of y'all. Where is the wave? Later.